Piper Change. We are in for an epic treat today. I'm on my way to Joy World Studio uh, out here in Oregon. He is the leading sort of breakthrough NFT artist. Just I'm a huge fan of his work. I interviewed him on the channel and now I'm actually going to go in person to meet him and we're going to record a video, learn all about the world he's creating, uh, the future of NFTs, the blockchain, and, and just this forefront of artists who are creating um, these digital universes. And I'm so, so I'm so, I'm fanboying out. I'm nerding out about this and I can't wait to bring it along. Um, so yeah, let's roll. Wow. You make the beats on this? I used to make most of it on just the, uh, on GarageBand. And I started making more stuff on this one. And then also making like board. Oh yeah, this is dope. So if you were to explain what a joy is, how would you explain that? A joy is a being from joy world with magic powers. Sorry, I should say a joy is a being from Joy World that has magic and a joy toy is a thing from Joy World that has powers. So it's a bit different. Magic and, so, and powers are a little bit different kind of feature. So if you if, if you were trying to explain a joy to like no like someone who'd never heard of NFTs, like how yeah. would you like would you be like it's a 2D, it's like it moves, it's like a sculpture? Or yeah. how, how how did you like, you know? Yeah, for me, uh, NFTs are actually more I see it just as a part of the technological stack of Joy World. Um, to me, like the NFT, NFT technology enables like a base layer of trading items and stuff inside of a world, and the ability to have like an ownership, a history of the world. Um, so it's it's hard for me to sum up a joy in an NFT. So sometimes I'll be like, joys are greater than NFTs because it's like. Um, NFT is like a, a layer inside a joy world, I always think of it. Like it's just sort of the technology that you happen to be using to, you know, trade the art kind of? Or like yeah, definitely. have it exist sort of? So like I see wow, NFT amazing. technology as it's almost like a governance layer, like a layer of like ownership history, but um, inside the smart contract you could actually do more stuff in that inside of a world. Like think about like gravity or how, how the how the different tools, how joy toys could be used across the metaverse could be actually programmed inside of a smart contract in the future. Um, so like composability, usability across the metaverse, those kind of things are really good for like, I, th I think the blockchain layer can be really good for that. Um, but I see joys also as like needing augmented reality technology, needing AI, needing other technologies to evolve to really take them to the level where like your joy is your creative muse. Like you take your joy with you and it has ideas for you. Like maybe you're like a tax accountant and like you're like working on, like uh, my accountant Kurt is like working on Joy World or something and maybe has like a uh, joy that like um, is like a painter or something. Um, yeah, being actual like a, a creative companion, almost like a pet, but somewhere between a pet and a, and a being. The Joy Burger? That's the Jimmy Joy Burger. Um, it's, it's in my top secret. So Jimmy Buffett, <laughs> Jimmy Buffett and I started uh, collaborating this summer. Um, it was about the time I was making Dwebler and I, Dwebler was supposed to come out and Dwebler got mixed up like making music and that was kind of conceptually was me getting mixed up making stuff with Jimmy Buffett. Um, so one of the collectors had connected us and, and it started out just like we we're gonna make, oh let's make like a Joy X collab which is kind of my collab uh, pieces that I've been working on. But then we we're like, let's make a joy toy. Then we we're like, we're doing so many things. Then we we're like, let's make concert visuals. And then he's like, I want to build a whole virtual world. So Jimmy Buffett is also like in this space. Like he, uh, he's somebody who does virtual reality and like um, he likes does flight simulation and now he's getting into sculpting and stuff like that. Wow. Um, yeah, and he, he's uh, very much interested also in like these virtual worlds and spaces. So so if you go to like original joy, inside of original joy is the trade history before. So this is the forked one. This is the original contract. Um, and you can see OpenSea's like kind of hidden it from everything. We've kind of hidden it, but they're all shadows. It's kind of like the first art fork. Um, to basically to move from this old contract, because this old contract is something I built uh, off of it's like a Crypto Kitties contract, but it's like really <laughs> messed up. <laughs> it's like it has a lot of problems by like removing stuff. Now this is like a at, a, at this point you can see like this is where it was minted two years ago. Um, and this is where it was originally minted. Oh, it doesn't scroll back very far. But you can see this is where kind of where the last transfer happened three years ago. And so you started building these joys three years ago. Wait, like that seems like really early kind of. 
Yeah. In the NFT history t timeline. <laughs> yeah. The, now you have this new contract and what does that enable functionality wise? Like I see them moving here, you know? So it's like, like he's moving, they kind of dance. And then you show the videos on YouTube of like this virtual world where they're all, like it seems like you could go in and they would move around. So yeah. I'm kind of curious, like I always think of it as like, it's almost like um, kind of like a painting that it like you could just jump into and yeah. that it comes to life. Like that's how I try and describe it to people. Cause I always talk about my joys and my joy toys <laughs> awesome. and nobody ever get, and I'm like trying to explain. I'm like, well, it's this world. It's like, imagine if you had the dopest painting that was all, you all kind of owned a part of that you could jump into. Yeah. And is that, you know, so I'm kind of curious how you think of it. Like Absolutely. That. Yeah. I see joy world as like one gigantic, like living painting, like a whole project. Um, and it's very, I, the reason I had, I had the opportunity to go into, to take joys on the super rare and to take them to Nifty Gateway. I've talked to every single like person in the space about, oh, let's put joys here. And every time I'm like, you have to put all the joys here. If you put a joy here, like it has to be open. It has to be an open marketplace because conceptually they're, they are all like one, part of one big piece. The whole world is like part of one big piece. And the idea is like, eventually we'll all enter into like the painting and like control it. Here's my, uh, here's my headset. I saw both ends off. And I had this one from Amazon. I added this Intel Core. It's not really Intel Core i7. <laughs> Wait, so is this an Oculus um, though? This is the Ocu Oculus um, Quest. Uh, what is this? This is a Quest 2. This is just fit right in there like that. And I don't oh, nice. Come so you can just leave them on. I want to use this one and put it into uh, Tesla. <laughs> and, Ooh. And then that way I can sculpt whenever I'm like charging. Wow. It's firing up. <laughs> wow bro this is crazy so there's 129 joys and like how often would you say they come out joys joys are made in the spirit of non-attachment and non-achievement and in this way i feel like we get the best results with joys so joys are kind of made in a spirit of like they're kind of done when they're done and then my goal is to have as much fun as i'm making it and in that way i feel like it, um, I get the best result. It's like whenever you want to make something and you're really like, oh, I'm going to make the best thing, I'm going to make the best thing. You never do. <laughs> you know, it's like perfection is a lie. You can't get there. So what I try and do to get the best result is just keep working, 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 like remixing things, reworking things until like I'm kind of I'm like laughing about it and it feels like a real character. It feels, I can feel its energy. Because um, like an NFT like a, is like a kind of a bundled up piece of an art, artist's energy, I think. Um, one of our joy collectors had said that is like art, art is a piece of artist energy and so um kind of the joy the nft is like that energy that time period like every single joy has um to me like i see it and i can like feel my whole life and i can see like the people the places the things i know like show up inside that joy and it's what's cool with nfts is we can kind of encapsulate that and stick that in time and then that can be like a tradable tangible moment so is he holding his mixer or is that yeah, so the mixer is hilarious because um, the webboard doesn't have arms, so the mixer holds you. Um, and because the mixer is so powerful and it's such a powerful beat maker and such a powerful... Oh wait, it's holding him up. Yeah, so it's holding him. Here, you, you should go look at it. And then this is like a color thing. Here, I'll set you up. You can draw something you want to draw. Uh, cool. Yeah, you're ripping. <laughs> you just went right in and went for it. Yeah. Like it's like a button right there. Oh, I was already looking dope. Wow. Okay. I think I got it. Oh, epic. Yep. This is how the magic happens. It all happens in here. Hey, look at this one real quick and then wait, don't show this one though. Oh, okay. This one's wow. Crazy. Buffett's ukulele. This is Jimmy Buffett's ukulele? Yeah. He gave it to me. Wow. Sorry, draw some drawings on this. I haven't drawn a whole lot on it yet. Oh, but you did some. Yeah. I wanted to ask about the joy toys and you part and you like create the joy toys with the joy collectors. Yeah, joy block was really funny. So joy block was funny because I woke up and I was like, oh, I really want joy block. And I don't really want to say why how it will be used like long term because the thing with like joy and joy toys and everything is like i see it as like art right and it's art you're just buying art in this moment um with like kind of no promise but 
Um, I love to like send what I call like they're over there upgrades to the artworks to the joys and joy toys. So it's like so they have that functionality. Yeah, so that's what kind of what I see it as is like an over the air upgrade. So if I change like if I like when I fork the joys, I consider that kind of like an upgrade to your joy. Like now you have a new joy and like you can take that have full ownership. Um, which a lot of people increased their price, made like 7,000% profit or something ridiculous off the what they had bought it for like a few hundred bucks and they're selling it for thousands of dollars. Um, so I see like those as kind of like um, over the air upgrades you can push to the joys, the joy toys. So uh, the way the contract's designed is like, um, it's a multi-dimensional file type. So each, each joy toy has six different files assigned to it inside of the smart contract. That way, like, if Rainbow wants to add augmented reality files, they can just kind of link to the contract and point to the files and it just grabs it for them without having to have some kind of permission system built in. Um, so the idea is that anybody can grab them, take them, and then build off of them. So Joy Toys have a ton of experimental stuff in the contract that will come to the Joy contract eventually. Um, so it's like uh, the ability to collaborate. So Joy toy can have up to five collaborator addresses it can have an address of a joy three of my friends and i um uh, want to make uh nft and split part of the profit with a charity like we can do any kind of split like that instead of the contract which at the time was the first of its kind there hadn't been like a, a profit split contract yet um wow. that just did it at the, when it does it which is like kind of a, like a really cool thing that uh we built with infinity and and uh nate alex like you know, uh, drove a lot of development of that. It's like me and Nate during like Christmas break when everyone was like enjoying the holidays. I'm like, Nate, what if we did this? And I'm like, come on, man, come on. Like a joy should be a, coll a collaborator on a joy toy. Like, let's do this, let's do this. If a joy makes a toy, so like Franny designed the Franny Fanny joy toy, which is like a, it's the idea of Franny Fanny is a, uh, is a fanny pack you can wear in the metaverse and then uh, all your stuff will fit in there like your car, your airplane, whatever your house is, all that <laughs> stuff and you'll just walk around with it and just like pull anything out and you know place it there and it'll just you know expand and you can go into your house or whatever you need to do so Franny Fanny can carry any meta materials inside of inside the metaverse. Somebody bought Fanny and that was the first like collab joy toy right because yeah joy toys that you make but then this was like the first collab one yeah and there's artist collab ones in the works but artists get like me and they get like real crazy and we like get far off on like this the artist ones are going nuts way more insane than i would have ever dreamed of like people who own joys um the or artist collabs are like the different jimmy buffett yeah jimmy buffett's artist collab um dab smila in la has a couple of painters that i did a joy x piece with talk to like basically all my friends like we're, we're leave yeah out. yeah um, i should show you the joy toy list this is insane it's Dude, like, like the grow your seed i feel like yeah. that has some epic potential and my friends and i would even think hold it in your wallet as long as possible it'll grow you wow that's why i've been growing so much <laughs> I, I have like three <laughs> definitely so the thing with the joys and the joys i'll reveal as much as i did is like the joys plus joy toys equals something um the joy toy the joy toy contract still has like stuff that's so there's the cool stuff it does is like built the franny the fanny pack and then um whenever somebody collected franny um what happened i think it was it was nifty not right collected franny and then um what happened is that uh every time somebody bought a franny fanny um the contract looks up looks up Franny's, uh, it calls the other contract, it looks up uh, which joy number that is, it looks up who the joy collector is, and in that instance it pays them 50% uh, of that sale. And so um, this is actually one of the first times, and I don't know if anybody else has built this yet, but like a contract calls another contract, um, looks up the owner and then pays them a split of the sale at the point of sale. Um, Dude, and, that is insane. And, and that just makes, in a weird way, like the value of the joy toy or the joys themselves are so like, that's such a yeah. great, like they drop their own thing that can, that yeah. caused the great controversy. It did. I yeah. did, I'm like, dude, that's like such a genius move. It caused like, the controversy because oh. everyone's like, I want my joy to make a joy toy. Everyone's like, I want to do this. Like, and then uh, once they saw one, and now you have a hundred and all the hundred plus people are all yeah, like, like hitting you up. Right? Yeah, where's, where's my joy toy? <laughs> and like, joys and joy toys, they're made in the spirit of non attachment and non achievement. So, right? So it's like, we can't just like force it out. Like, it's, it's, it's like a challenging thing. And then also, yeah, I get lots of cool offers every day to do cool stuff, and I'm all, oh man, I should totally do this, but joy roll. <laughs>
Do you like the new knife? <laughs> like this? Yeah, honestly, that's looking very visionary. Joy World is like a different reality art company, so the idea isn't just to like make uh, joys and joy toys and, and like sell these things as items, but to actually like um, keep working on like ways that Joy World inspires people to be, f to feel like joyful and creative and like keep trying to think about that. So like one of the bigger missions is, it's kind of internally like I talk about all the time is to um, actually build a lot of this like creative software that I use, um, release some as like open source software that, um, and make it very easy to use so that other artists can just take it and have it for free. Um, a lot of like stuff that we all need is like very much like locked down. Um, like, like with the headset? Yeah, with the headset. As you like use a creative tool, you want to use it long term, but a lot of like technology moves like very like quickly. Um, and stuff isn't built to be used like very long or, or like thought about as like the long term of like, like you're using a software tool to make stuff and then somebody changes it on you and then somebody changes it again and then you can't go back or you can't stop. I'm also starting like the Joy Creators Club, which is kind of like our open kind of chat zone to like talk about how to like, how do you build like a USDZ file? Like USDZ, it runs like USDZ files, like the future of AR and how to like interact with this stuff. But like as an artist, like how do you build one? Like how do you optimize all your meshes and like assign textures and do all these things whenever you're coming from like painting or like drawing, but you want to like build in another dimension. I always just for the artists. I want all the artists to like be able to succeed, like making their artwork using like NFT technology, using augmented reality, virtual reality. Um, I just like to see them succeed because earth is like very boring um, and it should be like very like wild and interesting and fun. But uh, I think we have a very long ways to go to get there. Right? I feel like you're like the splash of flavor, like, you know, just like your desk. I think that the world should be like more like this, like Italian radical. Boring. Cause <laughs> Earth is the boring planet, like, we're like way out on the like far, like on this arm of the Milky Way galaxy, like out in the dust, like, and we're like very like, let's just be as boring as possible. <laughs> like, but I feel like things like the Italian radical movement are different, like, there's definitely a different like art movement, so like challenge that, so I'd love like, I love for Joy World, the Joy World and the Joy idea, like to be almost itself an art movement. So, like I like when stuff similar style. Like I don't, I'm not somebody like don't copy my art. I'm like yeah, copy it. Like copy how I do it. Like take it further. Like do what I wouldn't do so that I can learn how to take it further. Um, so I'm very much like in the open like type of collaboration. But yeah, this this is fly right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So um, I grew up uh, in a house that like was like wildlife art. Um, so actually, everything was more like this, like Robert Bateman. Ooh, like IRL. Yeah. I so, mean, this isn't boring. This is the part of Earth that's not boring. Yeah, the part definitely. That we didn't make. No, Earth <laughs> is rad as hell. <laughs> I'm just playing. And how did you come up with the Joy logo? Because that's one thing I see in all of your art, is the Joy face. Yeah. Um, so whenever I was in school, whenever I was painting, um, my painting instruction was like, don't make smileys and peace signs and yin yangs and like these kind of things. Like, and I, I, th I know what they meant was like, don't like just, you know, doodle these things out. But like, so I always thought like, why, why, why? <laughs> like I thought about it a lot, like why, why not? Like if that's what I enjoy and other people enjoy and want to see and like, like like that feeling of like seeing a smiley face so that's kind of where it started to come from and i kept drawing it over and over and then it to me is like the joys the joys are all smiling and it's it's like symbolic of my own life like i try and be very joyful and happy you know but i'm a human being like it's just that's a struggle right like you, and you can see it in the joys you can see it in their face and their eyes there's like there's a joyfulness but there's also like an anxiety or like a little bit of something right like yeah like when you're a child, there's like pure joy and you can just be like happy and joyful. But when you're an adult, there's like pure joy and you're like, yeah, and you're so excited. But you're also thinking like, I got to do my taxes. I got to go like, you know, do sign this paperwork. I, I got to finish this thing. There's, there's so much duality as an adult. So I try and capture that in each joy. It's like they're very happy and joyful because they're trying to encourage you to be joyful. But they also have had experiences are like aren't aren't so like perfect you know no no one's perfect or perfectly joyful it's just uh an mm. aspiration they're just going for <laughs> pronoia <laughs> yeah pronoia definitely pronoia is the idea for joy world like um that 
uh, in paranoia, like you're always worried that everything's conspiring um, against you, but with pronoia, you're always worrying that everything's conspiring in your favor. Oh my god. Uh oh. Wow. I mean, that's that's like the most not yellow thing you own. Yeah, it's got yellow on it. Wow. I mean, Joy World merch. I'm like, is that not like, I'm sure so many people would love to rep some of these Joy World things. Yeah. I had a little merch store for a little while, but it was more like print on demand. Wow, that's sick. Uh, Mike Demery has uh, that rainbow shirt in his picture is the Joy World shirt. Oh, really? Yeah. This is the Mike Demery rainbow shirt. Wow, that is sick. <laughs> it's got a little bit. This one's got a weird dye thing going. It's an old one. <laughs> Love it. So did you screen print these? Print these when you say print on demand? No, they were like um, like order online, kind of like um, like where it makes it and then it ships to kind of to people. But what I didn't, I didn't feel like real personal. Like I was like, I want to like make the thing and like make it way rad, right? control the whole experience. Yeah. I wanted to make like everything but not use anything like I didn't like how much materials it just felt like we're being wasted or like you make a thing and you weren't sure if you wanted to commit to it but it's like well, I made this physical thing you know I stretched this canvas so it's like I kind of like digital in a way like you can just make 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 especially in virtual reality you're like sculpting and making things but then like it's just like tucked away <laughs> when it's done and then people can go into it or you can go further I think virtual reality the thing that's most interesting is just scale like as a human, it's like everything is just like perception of like scale and uh, I was talking to some of the people like pioneered uh, virtual reality art like in the 80s. They were like the, the worst part is now that like at the end of this is like we don't have a way that somebody can still experience the things we made because Ooh. like the VR technology kept changing so quickly and that this is kind of like one of the things one of like a few things that was like really made me obsessed with that like idea of a multi-dimensional file or like a file that can be upgraded to or have different types of a file within all that that all kind of represent a different experience of the same thing. How how can we like make Joy World last like a thousand years or like ten thousand years? Like how could yeah. it be like an artwork that people still want to like go play with as like a weird retro thing or like make it upgradable by all the users like over time? So it's like how to like make a painting that's like virtual that lives forever, that everybody kind of like contributes to and controls. Wow, like future-proofing it, it's yeah. crazy. But then stays as kind of like a, as an artwork, as like a, like a artistic kind of vision of like joyfulness and creativity and like how to keep all that going. I don't know, wow. <laughs> it's like weird. I definitely have like a 10-year vision of Joy World, but when I try and like say that, it doesn't, it doesn't make any sense because it's like really like, you can have like a 10 year vision, but really stuff changes every, even like crypto space every month, there's like a new idea or a new way to do something. It's like, like now I'm seeing a lot of like, you can program, you can program everything inside the NFT. So I've been thinking much more about that, like how to make each joy kind of the entry point into joy world, each one itself, like a portal. It's like a face, you can click on it and it like wobbles. Um, and I've seen some that people have like premiere, like shown off the, like, playing a game inside of like a little retro game. So trying to think much more about how to program in like kind of open way, uh, like much more like programmatically having the joys instead of just being like PNG, animated PNG, GIF, like those kind of files, but like how to have an actual like programmed uh, virtual experience. So like the potential of like web VR, web XR is like insanely like huge. Um, and it's completely unrealized because like everybody who's built like a web xr experiment it's just some like goofy weird thing um but there's definitely some people now kind of proving that it's like a viable thing to build build virtual experiences that are just on the open web instead of like an app that you have to download and then put onto a headset and then go into but ideally like we build joy world in a way so that like it's so good that everybody goes in there and starts making art and then they never uh 
they never come out, so they never, you know, never have to use your phone again. Almost and then like... Joy World destroys Apple. <laughs> <laughs> What's, what, what else do we want to talk about, Callie? Obsessed with how to, like, not let my phone and my computer take control of me, but to, like, constantly just be like, it's a thing for, like, making art on. This has existed for 10 years and they've never changed it. And a lot of music instruments are this way, where it's like, they build a thing that kind of you can make stuff on and it lasts forever. Um, and it's like fun to use and it's, and it's not like, like a keyboard and garage bands, like it's nice and everything, but this is like, you know, it's like a, a thing that is just like so weird. <laughs> and it doesn't need to be plugged in and you can just be making beats on that. Yeah. And you just kind of go to it and you don't, you don't get distracted by like Twitter or Discord or any of the fun things that we like to do. I wish like VR was like that ukulele where you could just like pick it up and play it. Wait, what are those? This is Snap Spectacles. Is that V1? Yeah. Ooh. Wow. This is, yeah. Damn, you're like, what hat? They got boring. Like. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> those are dope. <laughs> And these are almost so much more lightweight than these, but they tried to build in the VR features. So, these are so AR dope, features. Though. These are so dope though. Wow. This is like so, so you didn't paint these. I painted these. Yeah. Oh, okay. These are red. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was going to say what about the box? Was the box that that the way? The box was this way. Oh, wow. Okay, so that was dope. And then Look they how just... funky it was. They just kind of snap them this way. Oh, like that. I don't know. It feels like there's so much potential and we're so early. Yeah. And then I, and I, so I see things like this and it's like, oh, you could just take your uh, thing and just press a button and like you're in the joy world. Like imagine yeah. that you take that. Uh, I feel like that's so amazing. And like the feature you built of joy vision, I think is like the coolest feature. Yeah. Like, of the joy, right like I've been having so much fun playing with that. Nice. And then even with the scale thing, like I'm like, you know, pinching or whatever and yeah. zooming and moving and throwing the things and like, Everybody gets it. Yeah. Like there's like, I show my mom and she's like, oh, that's funny within one second. And it's yeah. having fun, you know, joy. But it's like, I don't know. So I feel like you've kind of unlocked like I, this idea of like not getting, letting the tech get in the way yeah. of the kind of experience and stuff. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not like, I'm not, I love tech and I'm a big fan of tech. I'm a total like nerd, you know, I like, I love every like, oh, these like computers, all these things, like I totally like work them all, but like. I, I'm also like much more kind of like obsessed over like the whole product experience, you know, and I'm not I try and like not make it like an app or a thing. So I like like the idea of like wallets like, oh, you have your rainbow wallet, all your stuff's in there and then you can like connect wherever you need to go from there. And it's like with Joy World, the new version of Joy World, like you can log in, have all your all your NFTs, all your stuff's there. Um, but yeah, you can just like simply connect with your wallet and then yeah with joy vision you shouldn't have to have an app or some kind of special thing you can just jump right into the metaverse right there i want to just build a virtual world but i don't think like you said everybody opens joy vision and they get it and i feel like that's kind of meeting people where we're heading and where where we are now kind of in the right place um but that's why i'm focused on usdz files and those kind of things because really i think that kind of apples um apples kind of line themselves up already perfectly with like they have AirPods that you put in your ears that have uh, that can track like your head motion and like can do your spatial audio. Like you have your watch that can be your interface through virtual reality. So all they need is like a pair of lenses to be powered by your phone. Um, and then since they've already supported USDZ file, I feel like um, USDZ format, which is what Joy Vision is built on, is like an easy step. Like it, it seems to me that's where it might go. Wow. Where USDZ file is an AR file, but AR is VR. Like, um, I love to play with center blocks. Wait, cinder block, you think? Yeah. Center block is that shape of that joy blocks. Yeah. Yeah, center blocks are used for like building home foundations and stuff. So I see it as like a foundational item. Um, it's a creatable for Jordan. 
It's creatable. Yeah. Ooh. So joy worlds are different different joy items. They're uh, creatables, destructibles, writables, edibles, smokables, <laughs> vapables. Like everything is a, a bowl. <laughs> the pencil's a creatable, destroyable. So the pencil is like the so pencil. Something that goes on your wrist or whatever. Well, the pencil you could wear on your wrist, definitely. The or it's a bracelet. The pencils for like, um, the, what makes the pencil joy toy so rad is if like, you really want to make art, um, but you don't, want it, you don't want it to take up space and you don't want to put any effort into it, then the pencil will create and destroy at the same time for you. Ooh, that, and it's like the loop that yeah. it has. So you, it's a perpetual creative energy. So you're always creating something new and you're always destroying it. So you're, in that way, you're always free to go create something new. Nice. <laughs> Epic. All the first 82 joys were sculpted in this headset. Um, Quite a bit. Wow. More. Piece of history. That part looks dope. Really, the ultimate is uh, neural link, right? <laughs> right? And that is just... the ultimate, like, uh, out of all of this. Yeah, right? then what you'll just tap into my brain and you'll go to Joy World. Yeah. How, so, do you do you believe that like we're all all gonna get the little chips eventually? I think so. I think some people definitely won't. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Boomers won't for sure. Um. Yeah. Neuralink and the idea of um using your mind to do this stuff is really great because what happened is like when you sculpt something like you sculpt something out of like a uh, stone, it takes forever, right? And then we can kind of like, we can sculpt it out of clay and then cast it into bronze, you know? But now you can like sculpt it in virtual reality and print it in clay and cast it in bronze or, you know, or you can carve it into stone instantly from virtual reality. So like the ability to create art has been, keeps like being accelerated, like along with other technologies. What's interesting with Neuralink is like before virtual reality, kind of what kind of made me get virtual reality was this movie called The Cell. Um, and then, uh, so like the movie, the cell, they would like put this like mask over people's face and they'd go into other people's dreams. They'd basically neural link their brains together. And, um, it was a Jennifer Lopez and she'd like, she would go into people like criminals minds and investigate like what happened to you, you know, kind of thing. Whenever I saw that, I was like, I want, as a kid, I was like, I want to like, I want to like make dreams. Like I want to make dreams. Like I always kind of, kind of that thought in the back of my mind, like, I feel like painting is one way to do that. Like you look at a dolly painting and you're like taken into like a dream world, right? Um, and then I think this is a way to do that. But I think like the ultimate is um, to actually just be able to write programs that um, people could tap into their mind, mind almost. Like you could take like joy as, a, that's all sometimes they say like joy is a drug. So it's like virtual reality is kind of like a drug um, and it alters your mind state and these like feelings. And so um, I could see like a, a way like you could just like tap into joy and like feel joyful and creative like through Neuralink <laughs> it's like the joy Neuralink connection um or the idea that like I think like art you're kind of trying to express yourself or how you're feeling or what you're trying to achieve but something like Neuralink or the idea of linking everyone's minds almost like shortcuts a lot of that a lot of potential beyond yeah especially for art it's, that's what I kind of think about. It's wow. like, I always kind of think about art, like, what's the art we'll make with Neuralink? Like, instead of watching this video, you'll just jack into my brain and, like, have a shared hallucination together, whatever. The human brain is incredibly flimsy. Uh, it's so easily tricked. Like, I put goggles on, and I feel like I'm in a virtual sculpting room. And I grab some blob, and I start making stuff, and it feels like I'm there. It feels like I'm sculpting. It feels like I'm building a thing. But I'm not. I'm just being tricked by some lenses flickering on my eyeballs, you know? We're probably tricked all the time. Like, we definitely probably are in a video game. Like, in Star Trek, there's a episode, or there's this being called the Borg. And that's actually where Bubblegum Borg yeah. comes from. Yeah, okay. So the Borg and Star Trek is like, um, they're a species that all link to their brains together like Neuralink to themselves together and they went like mad basically and they like they built this like giant ship I, I think if I remember right, they built a giant ship that like cruises across space and just collects everything and collects everybody's thoughts and, and like collects people into the Borg basically um, so Bubblegum Borg that's the way Bubblegum Borg is Bubblegum Borg started out like eating like gum off of the street and then like got bigger and bigger and then so Bubblegum Borg made the Bubblegum Borg Bubblegum um, 
but and the bubblegum board bubblegum when you chew it it links your brains to everyone's brains just like Neuralink but wirelessly and so um, bubblegum Borg, but because bubblegum Borg, um, bubblegum was so technologically complex to develop, um, bubblegum Borg and whale shark decided that it would be a very limited product in Joy World for just 88 minds to link together. So um, that's what makes it such a rare item in Joy World. Wow. It's Joy World's neural link. <laughs> it's the bubblegum Borg bubblegum. Dude, that, I'm so hyped. Wow. <laughs> I think I have two of them. Nice. I'm like, what, what does that even mean? <laughs> Drop it to your friend and link your brain to them. I think at Joy World, Joy Toys, like, uh, right now they're very, they're very simple. You view them in Joy Vision, but um, I'm, I'm still experimenting with, like, how you'll actually be able to, um, like, link those two together in, in the virtual experience. And then also use that inside of Joy World that will be kind of like a separate utility. And doesn't each Joy have a superpower too? Yeah. So each Joy has a Muse magic. And um, when you have that Joy, like you inherit its Muse magic. So um, like some Joys are like infinite like creativity or they have like um, the ability to, to have a beginner's mindset and start again. So they're like different inspirational things for people's creativity to kind of like keep them going. And it's been so cool. A lot of joy collectors um, have sent me stories. Like I've had cool stories from like Satman, and he was like, "Like this joy gave me this power to do this thing." And like I've had actual like um, like metaphysical experiences from like thinking of like that joy's energy and like having it with them all day. Um, I've had like really good experiences. So it's been like so rad to hear the stories. Meditation, like you have, you can only work like that. Yeah, <laughs> I clicked it. Yeah. <laughs> It's, it's Yucktronics. That's how I ended it. <laughs> 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 <laughs>